Renaissance Latin is a name given to the distinctive form of Latin style developed during the European Renaissance of the 14th to 15th centuries, particularly by the Renaissance Humanism movement. Ad fontes Ad fontes to the sources, was the general cry of the humanists, and as such their Latin style sought to purge Latin of the medieval Latin vocabulary and stylistic accretions that it had acquired in the centuries after the fall of the Roman Empire. They looked to Golden Age Latin literature, and especially to Cicero in prose and Virgil in poetry, as the arbiters of Latin style. They abandoned the use of the sequence and other accentual forms of meter, and sought instead to revive the Greek formats that were used in Latin poetry during the Roman period. The humanists condemned the large body of medieval Latin literature as Gothic, for them, a term of abuse, and believed instead that only ancient Latin from the Roman period was real Latin. Some 16th century Ciceronian humanists also sought to purge written Latin of medieval developments in its orthography. They insisted, for example, that A be written out in full wherever it occurred in classical Latin. Medieval scribes often wrote E instead of A. They were much more zealous than medieval Latin writers that T and C be distinguished, because the effects of palatalization made them homophones. Medieval scribes often wrote, for example, Esium for etiam. Their reforms even affected handwriting. Humanists usually wrote Latin in a humanist minuscule script derived from Carolingian minuscule, the ultimate ancestor of most contemporary lowercase typefaces, avoiding the black letter scripts used in the Middle Ages. This sort of writing was particularly vigilant in edited works, so that international colleagues could read them more easily, while in their own handwritten documents the Latin is usually written as it is pronounced in the vernacular. Therefore, the first generations of humanists did not dedicate much care to the orthography till the late 16th and 17th century. Erasmus proposed that the then-traditional pronunciations of Latin be abolished in favor of his reconstructed version of classical Latin pronunciation, even though one can deduce from his works that he himself used the ecclesiastical pronunciation. The humanist plan to remake Latin was largely successful, at least in education. Schools taught the humanistic spellings, and encouraged the study of the texts selected by the humanists, to the large exclusion of later Latin literature. On the other hand, while humanist Latin was an elegant literary language, it became much harder to write books about law, medicine, science or contemporary politics in Latin while observing all of the humanists' norms about vocabulary purging and classical usage. Renaissance Latin gradually developed into the new Latin of the 16th-19th centuries, used as the language of choice for authors discussing subjects considered sufficiently important to merit an international i.e. pan-European audience. Renaissance Latin works and authors 14th century 1359. Epistolae familiars by Petrarch 1360. Henealogia deorum gentilium by Giovanni Boccaccio 1313-1375. Topic: 15th century. 1409. Flows duellatorum by Fiori dei Liberi. 1425. Hermaphroditus by Antonio Beccadelli. 1394 to 1471. 1441. De elegantis Latinae linguae by Lorenzo Valla. 1406 to 1457. 1442. Historia Florentini Populi by Leonardo Bruni, c. 1370 to 1444. 1444. Historia de duobus amantibus by Aeneas Silvius Piccolomini, Pope Pius II, 1405 to 1464. 1452. De re edificatoria by Leone Battista Alberti, 1404 to 1472. 1471. Contra Amores by Bartolomeo Platina, 1421 to 1481, 1479. De Inventione Dialectica by Rodolphus Agricola, 1444 to 1485, 1481. Introductions Latinae by Antonio de Nebrija, 1441 to 1522, 1486. De hominis dignitate by Giovanni Pico della Mirandola, 1463 to 1494, 
1491. Nutricia by Poliziano, 1454 to 1494. Theologia Platonica de Immortalitate Anime by Marsilio Ficino, 1433 to 1499. Francesco Filofo, 1398 to 1481. Topic. References. Topic. Further reading. Kranz, F. Edward, Virginia Brown, and Paul Osler Christeller, eds. 1960-2003. Catalogus Translationum et Commentariorum, Medieval and Renaissance Latin Translations and Commentaries, Annotated Lists and Guides, 8 vols. Washington, D.C., Catholic University of America Press. D'Amico, John F. 1984. The Progress of Renaissance Latin Prose, The Case of Apollonianism, Renaissance Quarterly 37-351-92. Dietz, Luke, 2005. The Tools of the Trade, A Few Remarks on Editing Renaissance Latin Texts. Humanistica Lavanencia 54-345-58. Hardy, Philip, 2013. Shepherd's Songs, Generic Variation in Renaissance Latin Epic. In Generic Interfaces in Latin Literature, Encounters, Interactions and Transformations. Edited by Theodore D. Pafanghelis, Stephen J. Harrison, and Stavros Frangulidis, 193-204. Berlin, de Gruyter. Houghton, LBT 2013. Renaissance Latin Love Elegy. In the Cambridge Companion to Latin Love Elegy. Edited by Thea S. Thorson, 290-305. Cambridge, UK, Cambridge University Press. Lore, C. H. 1974. Renaissance Latin Aristotle Commentaries, Authors A. B., Studies in the Renaissance 21-228-89. McFarlane, I. D., ed., and Trans. 1980. Renaissance Latin Poetry. Manchester, UK, Manchester University Press. Parker, Holt, 2012. Renaissance Latin Elegy. In a Companion to Roman Love Elegy. Edited by Barbara K. Gold, 476-90. Malden, M. A., Wiley Blackwell. Perosa, Alessandro, and John Sparrow, eds. 1979. Renaissance Latin Verse, an Anthology. London, Duckworth. Topic. External links An analytic bibliography of online Neo-Latin titles also Renaissance Latin. Neo-Latin humanist texts at Digital Book Index. René Hoven, Lexique de la prose latine de la Renaissance. Dictionary of Renaissance Latin from prose sources, with the collaboration of Laurent Graylet, Leiden, Brill, 2006 second edition, 683p. The Center for Neo-Latin Studies, focusing on Irish Renaissance Latin.